I'm guessing you're not going to tell us anything about Fajardo. Nope. He's not out here, but he's getting treatment, and we'll wait till tomorrow to make our decision whether we feel like he's ready to play. He's practiced. He's, he's played games where he hasn't practiced in a week, so I'm not too concerned with that. When you do look at Caleb Evans, and for him to have his best game, just generally speaking, what does he need to officially make good decisions? Uh, you know, use his athleticism when it's there. But Caleb can make all the throws. He's confident. He's won games in this league. He's won games for us as a starting quarterback, and it's not all on him. We have a great team around him. You know, we're, we've put a, together a plan. Um, you know, for all three quarterbacks to be able to function, four quarterbacks in our organization, and they all play and they know the system. So if, if Caleb gets his opportunity to play, that's just try not to do too much. Play within yourself, make good decisions, uh, and trust the guys around you. And, and I think he's in practice this week. That's what he's done. Um, you know, in, in particular today, I thought he had a great day of, of the, practice. The Rough Riders defense do a pretty good job uh, this year so far. Uh, always important to manage the ball well for the QB. Yeah, make good decisions. They're plus 11 in turnover margin right now, and I think that has a lot to do with their success. Uh, I think, you know, when I look at the study of an eight-year study and the teams that lead the league in turnover margin generally win a lot of games. So, you know, that's something they've done extremely well, and their defense takes the ball away, and their offense protects it. So we've got to do a great job in that department, which we're number two right now at plus six, and we usually do a good job of, of protecting it and taking it away. So we've got to do that on both facets, all three phases. You got, got to be able to do that. So anybody that carries the ball, anybody who's tackling, it's got to be ball, ball violence, and we've got to protect it. And we know that. But absolutely, that's number one focus this week for us. Thank you. Yep. We also count Julian Grant also not out here. Do you have a time? Same thing. It's uh, you know we're holding out that you know we've held him out because he's, he's got something that he's dealing with. So I'm hoping by tomorrow maybe it's rectified. If it's not, we've got guys in his place that that will play. And if not, is there an interest to try and maintain a Canadian receiver? in that position? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we have different uh, varieties of looking at our roster. Our roster, we can play multiple Canadians in multiple places. We can play more than needed, uh, and we can play them in multiple spots. So to, tomorrow when we have to declare the roster, it'll be declared with the proper Canadians in the spots. But we have the depth, I believe, at receiver to continue to play if Kayon's not ready. Um, and we also have the ability to go in other places. Uh, so the coach still said that uh, Cody's status is uh, is up in the air. we will make a determination tomorrow. I'm just curious, how do you feel about the week of practice that you put together? You look pretty sharp out there. Yeah, I feel good. Like I was saying uh, earlier in the week, just to get a, a full week of just, you know, some reps uh, versus none, always going to feel better than nothing, you know. So feel good getting out there with some of the guys, uh, the receivers that are playing and things like that, get used to their speed and what they see and just communicate that and uh, get on the same page. And I feel like we're starting to click and starting to see some of those uh, communication things on the field. I know it's just like it's a small league and it's a coincidence, but last year your first game was a start against Sask at home, and now you get the same thing. It's come full circle. I'm just curious, what do you remember from last year? And, you know, it was a two-game sample size. You won both games. Just what do you remember from that game in particular in that small sample? Uh, yeah, I, I told him uh, earlier I just try, I try not to dwell on the past because every year is different. Every game is different. So, uh you know, from what I remember, um, last year is just the same preparation of always trying to be prepared and uh, had a full week last year to get a full week with the guys and things like that. And I feel even better uh, with certain things about myself uh, than I did last year. So uh, just feeling confident and feeling good. You had a really strong preseason. You had a strong camp. Um, obviously, you haven't had a ton of reps, but I'm just curious how you feel about where your game is, how you've evolved over the last few months. Uh, I feel good. Uh, worked a lot in the off season on certain things that I wanted to fix and uh, improve. Um, and so starting to see the fruits of the labor uh, out, out here um, and just starting to see the guys and us clicking together. And like I said, just gaining that confidence and the guys gaining confidence in me as well and uh, putting our best foot forward. How much did it help that this comes, you know, after a bye week, so you maybe had a little bit more time to, like, how much does that change the, the game for you? Uh, I think it's great. Uh, like you said, the bye week, uh, I got a whole week of just kind of getting away from football, honestly, uh, clearing my mind, clearing my head, talking to family, friends, and things like that, working out, just kind of having a mini off season, if you will, uh, and then coming back for a full week of preparation and getting back into the groove of things. And like I said, I feel great coming into this game. What have you seen on tape from the Ryder defense? Because they are different than the team that you did see last year, different head coach, you know, the guy who runs the defense. What have you seen from them on tape? Uh, you know, they the good head coach. He came from Toronto, so I'm kind of familiar with some of his schemes as far as uh, being in Ottawa and being here, uh, you know, going into my fourth year in the East. So 
<clears throat> you know, familiar with some of the blitzes and the uh, zones and schemes. Even Coach Bell out there, DB coach. Uh, so, you know, uh, a lot of familiar familiarity with it, but like I said, they might plan differently for me if that is the case. If not, then we'll see when we get there. I was just curious, how about you felt about the Toronto game, like the, the reps that you did get after Cody came out? Just what did you, what were your overall impressions of what you guys were able to do offensively? Uh, I feel like in every game is some good and some bad. So uh, it's never as good as it seems, it's never as bad as it seems. So uh, I felt like it was some good things on film and there was some bad things that you can learn from and get better from. So uh, I felt good about certain throws and then I knew some throws and some reads I you know, could have did way better with the reps or, you know, comfortability in it. So now it's just uh, grading myself and looking at myself and seeing how I could push myself to be better. And I feel like we're making that uh, step forward.